we have here is another example using our figure four modules. And in this implementation, we have eight of the modules arranged. We have an automatic tray loader. We have two robotic arms that we're using then to provide automation to bring trays in, load the printers. The printers do very high speed uh, sterilography in three different materials. So I have uh, a standard cyan colored material, I have an elastomeric material here, and then I have a casting material here. So we're operating all these modules concurrently. The automation then picks them up and takes them through a cleaning process. So I have a series of solvents that I take the parts through, I get off any excess photopolymer, and then I have a UV curing station. So the UV carrying station then complete the polymerization so that the part's ready to be used. For the casting models, we've also added an inspection station. So the robot will actually hold the part in six different positions. We fully inspect the part, and then we can pr provide a report, an analysis of the accuracy of the part. That can determine if the part's good before it goes on to its next step to be cast in metal. And here you can see in this tray, we've been running the system for a couple hours here, and you can see we've got maybe 20 to 30 trays already built. This is the third iteration of our demonstrations. Uh, we started at CES with a single robotic arm actually being part of the printing process. We went to AIMLOG and we did a demonstration there with a the system. And now we've added more modules, automated tray handling, and inspection to this third iteration. And what this has done is it's literally inspired our current customers and people that want to get into additive manufacturing with a, a real implementation that they, they can see, hey, I would like to have this arranged this way. I could use, you know, 16 modules and I could produce this part in... 1.2 minutes, I could create a flow of 1.2 minutes, that would be my current production line. So there's there's really no speculation, there's nothing that's not here today being demonstrated at the show that won't provide this uh, to companies that adopt the technology from 3D systems.